Hi, my name's Vince from Mr. Telephone and today I'm going to be talking about the BT78A. So it's this little junction box here. Okay, so that's a BT78A. As you can see, it's a nice little small size and that's the inside of it. So you've got eight terminals down this side and eight terminals down this side. Now, the BT78A is all IDC, so you need a little punch down tool for this one. If you want a uh, a screw terminal version, they don't do them in eight terminals, but they do do them in six terminals, and the screw version is called a BT77B, okay, but this one is the uh, 78A. I will do a video talking about the, all the different block terminals you can get. BT stands for block terminal, okay. This one uh, is unbranded, so it's got no, uh, no markings on it. Just a plain little nice white box. Measures roughly about... Uh, What's that there? About 50, 55 ish, 55 millimeters by about 40, about 40 millimeters. So about 5.5 centimeters by 4 centimeters. Depth is about, what's the depth? 20, about 22 mil. Yeah? Okay, so I'm just going to show you uh, how to connect up one of these. Basically, you would use them if you wanted to connect one main cable to three other cables. So this will actually connect up to four cables together. And it will be a bit of a squeeze, but you can actually connect four lots of four pair cables together. So a four pair cable has eight wires because this one has eight terminals on it. Now uh, I'm just gonna put the camera down here and zoom in a bit. And I'll show you how to connect one of these little junction boxes up. So I have to use a bit of imagination now. We have Four cables. Let's zoom out actually. Now let's pretend that this four pair one, this eight wire one here, is the, the main cable coming in and it's going to connect onto uh, an external cable here and two internal cables. So this little junction box will connect all these four cables together. Yeah, so it's ideal if you've star wired uh, some extension cables back to one particular, one particular point. Now if you uh, want to connect more than four cables together, at the end of the video I will show you a little cheat that will uh, allow you to connect up to, uh, I think it's six cables, we'll have a count at the end, but I think this little junction box will connect up to six cables. The only problem is, is you're going to have real trouble actually squeezing them into here, because as you can see, you know, the junction box is small, so having to get six cables in here is going to be a real squeeze. But I'm going to show you it with four cables to begin with, and then I'm just going to show you the little cheat you can do if you're only connecting up four wires, because let's face it, normally in a residential home, you're only going to be uh, connecting up extension cabling. So you're just going to be actually using three wires. That's the blue, the white blue, and the orange. So it's very unlikely you are going to be connecting four pair cables into this, but I'm just going to connect a four pair just to show you that it can be done. Now, if you have a look, you've got terminals, one to eight down this side, and one to eight down this side. One corresponds to one here, two to two, three to three, all the way down to eight to eight. So whatever you connect to eight here will become live on eight here. Now just to show you with a uh, little continuity tester. When I touch the wires together, it goes off. So terminal one to terminal one. Let me use the the wires themselves because these probes are a little large. So, one. One to one, two to two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So whatever you connect down this side, let's turn that off, it will become live on this side. Now, remember these are IDC, so you can squeeze two wires into each of them. Don't try to put the third wire in. So one wire will go in fine, the second wire will go in fine. If you try to put the third wire on top of that, it's not going to make a good connection because it's a metal V. Zoom out a bit. It's a metal V, so one wire will go in fine, two, but the third wire is not going to cut through the plastic onto the copper on the inside. So it's just two on each terminal. So you can get one lot of cable down here, 
two lots of cables down here, three lots, then four lots, and that's it, you've maxed this little junction box out. So you can see that there's little cutouts here. The top's been done for you. I've already cut that one out here. Because we're connecting so many cables, we're gonna to have to cut these ones out. This one's been cut out, but I am gonna to have to cut out this connection as well. If, for example, you're only connecting like one, you know, two cables together, then you could spin the lid around that way, and then uh, you see you've got a nice big hole without having to do any cutouts at all. You will easily get two cables in that hole there. But in this instance, we're gonna be having two cables coming in the bottom and two cables coming out the top, so I'm gonna take all of the knockouts out. Just cut that little knockout away there. Yeah, so that's our knockouts done. Now, we've got cable ties. You can see here that the cable ties go uh, down the bottom here and up the top here. So I'm just gonna put a couple of cable ties in. like so, and one up the top. Now it doesn't matter which one the live wire goes in, remember they're all gonna get connected up together. So uh, we said that this four pair was gonna be our live one. So when you put the cable tie on, always cable tie the sheath and not the wires. So now, what I should have done is put the second cable up there before doing the cable tie up. So let's see if I can just squeeze that in. There we go, squeezed it in and do it up. So you can see now the cable tie is squeezing those two sheaths together. Cut off the excess tail of the cable tie, move the wires out of the way. Now we've got our other two cables, the other internal cable, this external cable. That's the cables cable tied into the box. Now we have to start terminating them. Now, it doesn't actually matter which uh, way you get around these because at the end of the day, they're just IDC contacts. So one is no different than uh, one is no different than eight, six, five, whatever. It doesn't actually make a difference. But I am going to uh, connect them up nice and neatly in pairs. So when you're working with uh, telecom cables, the first pair will be the blue pair, the second pair will be the orange pair, the third pair will be the green pair, and the fourth pair will be the black pair. Now remember, these are just telephone cables, but you could use these junction box for other things if you were, you know, in, into uh, any you know low voltage, low voltage uh, scenarios. They they will take any solid core wire. Uh, from uh, 0.4 millimeters in diameter up to 0.65 millimeters. So that's 0.4 millimeters to 0.65 millimeters in diameter. Telephone cables are always uh, 0.5 millimeters. They were larger years ago, but that's the size they've been for many years. Uh, so uh, yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna connect them up now. You have to use solid core cable in this. A solid core cable is a solid core of copper like that, not stranded. These, these IDCs will only work with solid core cable. So first of all, we're gonna connect up the four pair cable. So we get the blue pair. And what we'll do is, we will uh, zoom that out a little bit so you can see what's going on. We'll always put the, the, the white wire up top. So, the white blue is on number one, the blue white is on number two. Now we go on to the orange pair. If you're not sure about telephone wires, the color codes, you can always see my other video where I talk about the different numbers corresponding to the different wires. So now we're on second pair, which will be white-orange and orange-white. I'm punching it down. Always put the wires in from this side out. So the wires go into this side out. So the cutting part of the tool, they get punched in like so. Yeah? If you were using a plastic tool, again, it goes this way round. 
but you will have to cut the wires yourself afterwards because the plastic little cheapo tools don't cut the wires, so you're gonna have to snip the wires afterwards. So I'm just gonna go down and do the greens, the third pair. And lastly, the browns. Now this is obviously fiddly because I'm dealing with so many cables here, but realistically you might only be connecting one to another one, or one to another two. Perhaps if you've damaged a cable you might be using one of these. Now can you see how I've done that? So we got white blue to one, blue to two, white orange to three, orange to four, white green to five, green to six, white brown to seven, and brown to eight. And that's that cable. Now we're just going to copy all the other cables onto that. So again, I'm gonna keep working from the top here. And can you also see how I've rooted it nicely away from the screw terminal? So it comes down and it goes around here and then back up. Yeah, so you've got a little bit of slack to work with in the future because if you come to this junction box again, you might have to pull the wires apart to do a bit of testing. If you do it too tight, then it's gonna be hard for the next engineer to, to, to pull the wires out and then re-terminate them again. So always leave a nice little bit of slack but not too much slack because you won't be able to get the lid on. So now I'm just going to copy the colour code again using the next cable. This is the two pair cable now so I'm only going to be copying the, the whites and the blues. So now that's this side maxed out. So I've got two wires in each of those slots here, not down here, because remember that was the four pair cable. The rest of my cables are only two pairs, so nothing's gonna be connecting onto these. So basically now I've maxed out this side, I now need to put these cables all on this side here. So we'll start with the internal, doesn't matter which way it goes around, they're all the same, they're all the same size. This time I'm gonna go this side of the screw terminal because I'm coming to this side of the wiring. So rather than doing it this side, I'm gonna go this side of the screw terminal. And by doing that, it just gives me a little bit of slack to pull the wires out in the future. But yet it still keeps the junction box nice and neat. White blue up top to number one. Blue white to number two. White orange to number three, orange to number four. So now we've got three cables connected and it's still looking quite neat. So we've just got to do this last cable now, the black cable. Again, same thing again, white orange, sorry, white blue up top. Blue white, second one down to number two. Orange white to number three. Orange to number four. And that is that. So now you will see that they're all connected together. Every single wire is connected, so all the white blues are together, all the blues are together, all the white oranges are together, and all the oranges are together. And the greens and browns don't go anywhere because the other cables are not four pair. If they were four pair, you'd have another green and brown here, and two lots of green and browns here. And that is how you do a BT78 junction box. Nice and neat, that won't cause you any problems. You can see that when we put the lid on, that these wires are away from this hole here. Because if you had the wires going over like that and you went to screw the lid on, what's gonna happen is they're gonna short out and then you're gonna get a problem. Then you're gonna be pulling your hair out trying to work out where the short is. So push the wires well away from that. And then you've just gotta put your lid on. Where's 
a screwdriver. Here it is. Like so, that's how you do the junction box. Now just to remind everybody, that's called a BT78A. BT stands for Block Terminal 78A. Now, I did mention at the beginning that there was a cheat, a way that you could get a few more connections in here. So I'm just gonna explain how to do it. I'm not actually gonna do it, I'm just gonna explain how to do it. And then you'll have an idea. But as you can see, it's already getting quite full, but you probably, you know, you probably could fit another two cables in there. So what you need to do is, this is only gonna work if you're using two pair cables, not three pair cables or four pair cables. But now pretend all of your cables were two pair cables because in a house, that's all you're gonna be connecting. You're just gonna be connecting the blues and the oranges. So I'm gonna pull out the browns and the greens. So pretend that they don't exist now. Yeah, so now we've got all these bottom terminals free. So what we can do is, we can undo one of the lots from the top, like so, and what we can actually do is put a little jumper wire in to connect the top lot of terminals to the bottom section of terminals, so the top four IDCs to the bottom four IDCs. Zoom in a bit there, I know this is probably getting a bit boring. So remember the IDCs can only take two wires, so by jumpering them down like so, white blue there to white blue here, we've now livened up all the fives on the white blue. Do the same with the blue wire to two, which will go to six. Now all the six terminals are livened up on the blue, and then we get the white orange to seven. So all the seven terminals are livened up on the white orange, and we use the orange wire. It goes from four to eight. So now, as you can see, we've got the main cable coming in. It's livened up, for example, if we're on about the, the blue pair, it's livened up one, two to one, two here. But now we've also livened up five, six down here. So now these terminals here have become free, and this one here. So we've got to reconnect our original wire. So we're just reconnecting the original wire. Obviously if you're doing this from, from start you'll have a bit more room than me because I've already terminated the wires. That's the idea of leaving slack you see. And now we have these terminals here free for fitting two more cables. So you can put the white blue to number five, the blue to number six, the white orange to number seven, and the orange to number eight. And that's how you can connect up to six cables in this little junction box, and it will work absolutely fine. So I hope that made a bit of sense. If you need to get these BT78s, uh, please check out my eBay shop. That's uh, mrtelephone.co.uk. And uh, yeah, please subscribe for more how-to videos in the future. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, that's it, thanks all for your time. Take care, bye now.